Welcome to Y Lecture Online. Here's our second example of how to multiply two complex numbers. Actually, technically, we're multiplying an imaginary number with a complex number because notice when the real part is missing, all we have left is the imaginary part of the complex number. So, but we still need to know how to do that. And again, the approach can be to take the imaginary number and multiply times each of the two terms or the two parts of the complex number. Or we can do it in a vertical sense. So we'll do it both ways and see what that looks like. So here we have 3i times 2 that gives us 6i and here we have 3i times a negative 4 thirds i so it's plus 3i times a negative 4 thirds i. And I like to write it like this first until we get kind of used to it because again when we multiply i times i we get a negative one and we can get kind of confused with the signs so sometimes it helps to go an intermediary step. So this is equal to 6i plus now here we have 3 times negative 4 thirds the 3 cancel out we're left with a negative 4 times i squared. Now i squared that's equal to negative 1 so this is equal to 6i plus a negative 4 times a negative 1. Of course, the two negative signs negate each other. So this becomes 6i plus 4. And then typically, we like to write the real part first. So this is equal to 4 plus 6i. And that would be the product. Now let's check by doing it in a vertical direction. So here, here we have 3, 3 times negative 4 thirds. Notice, if you're not sure what to do, if you can do it right away in your head, we can simply write it like this, minus 4 thirds i multiply times 3i. And then here we have 3i times 2, that gives us 6i. And then here we can simplify that by saying the 3's cancel, so we get 6i plus the 3's cancel, it gives us negative 4i times i. And of course, i times i is negative 1, times a negative 4 is a positive 4, so this is 6i plus 4, or 4 plus 6i, which is the same thing that we got on the right side of the board. And that is how it's done.